Happy New Year. As you know, about a month ago, the Trudeau government approved the Kinder Morgan Pipeline Expansion Project. And as you also know, for about four and a half years, we have taken a consistent and clear and principled stand for British Columbians. We've said that for any new or expanded heavy oil projects in British Columbia, they must meet the five conditions. They must protect our coast. And as a result of that, Ottawa has committed to a world-leading system on our coast through their $1.5 billion ocean protection plan. In, as part of the five conditions, we identified 10 actions that must be taken, and Ottawa has committed to meet all of those actions. We estimate the cost of doing that means that BC's coast will receive the largest share of the $1.5 billion that will be invested nationally. That investment includes two new salvage tugs capable of rescuing and towing large vessels, and that will be in addition to the two escort tugs on the south coast that will be supplied by Kinder Morgan. That will be along with the $150 million investment in the Western Canada Marine Response Corporation. Ottawa's commitment to world leading means a commitment to continuous improvement as well, including adding resources and investments in the future as they are required. We operate under a polluter pay model and the federal government has further backstopped that to fully insure British Columbia. There is unlimited liability for companies that spill and a $1 billion fund for cleanup. And let me add that this is about protecting our coast. Before first shipments leave our coast, we will insist that the federal government meet their commitment to making sure that this is indeed world leading. We will be monitoring their investments and any changes that they're making and we will be reporting out on what they're doing on an annual basis to the citizens of British Columbia. And as part of the five conditions, we've also made it clear that British Columbia deserves a fair share of the economic benefits that result from the project. And so this project is estimated to result in more than 75,000 person years of employment. On the terminal side, most of those jobs will come out of places like Surrey, Burnaby, Abbotsford, and Langley. And on the pipeline side, most of those jobs will come out of local communities, but also, perhaps farther afield, places like Vancouver Island. Where the workers are in British Columbia, we know that they'll come to build the pipeline. It will result in $19 billion in growth to our GDP over 20 years. It will add $4.1 billion in revenue to British Columbia, again over 20 years. That includes $2.2 billion in tax revenue, $512 million in property tax revenue to municipalities, up to uh, or somewhere exceeding $350 million already committed to First Nations across the province. And further, we have reached agreement with Kinder Morgan on two points. First, that they will put British Columbians first when it comes to hiring for building and maintaining this project. That they will make sure that top qualified British Columbians are the ones that get these jobs and these contracts in our province. And two, that we will have an unprecedented, this has never been done before, revenue sharing agreement with Kinder Morgan. BC will receive up to $1 billion over 20 years, that's $50 million a year, and every penny of that will go into environmental protection, including a new BC Clean Communities pro Program. That'll mean that community groups across the province can apply for funding for programs that will help us protect and enhance our environment, whether that's restoring habitat, whether that's making sure that our, our salmon hatcheries and fisheries and salmon streams are protected and restored, whether that's cleaning up polluted sites, cleaning up beaches, controlling invasive species. The other three conditions, and I've talked about this before, have all been met. All of them have been satisfied, including the environmental certification, addressing treaty rights and opportunities for First Nations, and world-leading land spill response of protection and recovery. But we have always recognized that the decision to approve this project was not ours to make. It is a federal decision. 
and they made it. But what is our job is to stand up for British Columbia. It's to fight to make sure that our coasts, our land base, our communities are protected and benefiting from any change in the movement of heavy oil across our province. I want to note uh, today um, that about four and a half years ago, when we first talked about the five conditions on the national stage, it was not widely accepted by other premiers or the prime minister at the time. Four and a half years later, after maintaining a clear, consistent, and principled position, consistently fighting for the interests of our province and our coast, all of the parties have come not just to accept the five conditions, all of them have come to embrace them and take action on them, action that they are going to take to the benefit of British Columbians.